Hello, viewers. Myself, Dr. T. N. Oza here. Today, I am presenting to you a new video on a very, very important topic Werner Heisenberg's Uncertainty Principle. I must tell you, this principle was one of the founding pillars for the development of quantum mechanics. Previously, this principle was looked upon with suspicion, but later it was found to be very widespread in nature. The following points will be discussed under this part about the scientist himself. <clears throat> Second, the principle of mathematical inequalities. Next, how does Compton scattering provides a direct experimental proof of our certainty principle? And next, we will apply this principle to connect the Bohr model of atom. And that will be followed by a few numerical problems. Verify various concepts. Werner Heisenberg was a luminary German theoretical physicist who contributed to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics, an abstract subject of paramount relevance. He was born on 5th December 1901, lived till 1st February 1976. He was an alma mater of the University of Munich. He is known for his breakthrough research paper on the theory of quantum mechanics but he pub which he published in 1925 and further extended the same work in collaboration with Mike Baum and Oscar Jordan. He is best known for his integrating uncertainty principle, which he published in 1927 and earned physics Nobel Prize in 1932. This principle was initially looked upon as utopian by many scholars across the world, but later it was well acknowledged and appreciated. This principle is widely applied in almost all disciplines of study, mathematics, statistics, physics, chemistry, medicine, economics, and social sciences. Thus, Heisenberg became immortal to his discovery. Next, we talk about principle of mathematical inequalities. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is about a variety of mathematical inequalities. It logically asserts about the existence of a fundamental limit to the precision and accuracy with which the values of certain pair of physical quantities such as position, momentum, density, etc., of the particle, such as photon, electron, atom, molecule, can be predicted from initial conditions. Simply put, the uncertainty principle states that there is an inherent uncertainty or inaccuracy in the act of measuring a variable of a tiny particle. In other words, for any moving tiny particle, it is impossible to simultaneously measure a pair of variables like position and velocity with absolute correctness. Always, there will occur some uncertainty in the measurement. In chemistry, we commonly apply this to the pair of quantities like position and momentum of a particle. Next, we talk of the mathematical formulation of the uncertainty principle. <coughs> it is most commonly written as del x multiplied by del px equal to or greater than h upon 4 pi. In this expression, del x refers to 
uncertainty in position x then px refers to uncertainty in momentum v along x direction we can say it refers to uncertainty in velocity ux along x direction that is the well known constant Planck constant phi is another constant here one important point i must tell you earlier instead of h upon 4 pi it was h upon 2 pi which was used later a correction was made so h upon 2 pi which is very commonly used in calculations in quantum mechanics and as well etc this is given a new name modified Planck constant Dirac constant and it is written as h crossed and its value is 1.054 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second the principle of uncertainty says that more precisely the position x of the particle is known the more uncertain the momentum mux becomes and vice versa now we will discuss how Compton scattering has provided a proof of uncertainty principle. In Compton scattering, what happens? High frequency radiation like X-ray photon made incident on a target. This photon interact with electron is a particle. Transfer energy and momentum. Now the electron is ejected or emitted and moves with some velocity. The X ray gets scattered with reduced energy. Evidently, there will be uncertainty in the energy of dislodged electrons, and this provides the proof that uncertainty does exist in case of any particles. Applying correction to Bohr model of atom. Niels Bohr in 1913 suggested that electrons in atoms move in circular orbits of certain specific radii. He told, he formulated rather, he speculated, only those circular orbits were allowed for which the angular momentum m of u r is an integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. His speculation was experimentally correct because he could explain the emission spectrum of hydrogen. But how he arrived at this conclusion was unclear. It was just a speculation found to be correct experimentally. Now, the uncertainty principle made the correction uncertainty principle says that instead of certainty introduce probability other than exactness and we know these days electrons are assigned to electron orbitals which are clouds of electron that is based on probability not certainty so in this way Bohr's second postulate finds support from uncertainty principle. A numerical problem, for solving numerical problem, we should remember the following equation very clearly. Uncertainty in position del x multiplied by uncertainty in momentum del p equals h upon 4 pi. If we simply remember this equation, then we can calculate uncertainty in velocity, delta u, or uncertainty in de position, delta x, using that simple formula, simple iteration. Here, the constants which we very often use, which is x 6.626 times 10 to the power minus 34 joule second, mass of electron 9.108, 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms, 
phi 3.1416. So in this way we can calculate uncertainty. Here we have first taken ball of mass 0.1 kg. When we put the relevant data in the equation and determine its uncertainty in velocity, we find uncertainty is 5.273 into 10 to the power 1 is 23 meter per second. So this value is negligible. It means for microscopic particles, uncertainty principle does not hold good. It can be ignored. In the next calculation, we will show for tiny particles like electron, it is very much valid. Here we applied the same principle of determining the uncertainty in the velocity of an electron, which we wanted to locate within one angstrom distance limit. When we put the relevant data and carry out calculations, we find that uncertainty in velocity is 5.79 times 10 to the power 6 meter per second. This cannot be ignored. Quite significant figure. <laughs> Similarly, if we wanted to locate the electron within a distance of 0 0.9 angstrom using an optical microscope, again, the uncertainty in velocity will be quite appreciable. 6.43 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second. So in this way, Eisenberg uncertainty principle is very, very important concept. Although approximate, it finds much use in quantum mechanics and one of the pillars for founding science of quantum mechanics. Thank you very much.